Happy day and welcome everyone. This is a quick little demonstration about something that you're probably you come across all the time. Clorox, Clorox bleach, like in particular bleach. How does bleach work? Okay, so there are a whole bunch of different uses of it. Like if I look at this bottle on the side, laundering, whitening, removing stains, cleaning, deodorizing, disinfecting. So we know like, for example, you can use these to disinfect. Um, and so what is it in that bleach that does this? It's called oxidation. And so there is a molecule in there that is called chromophores. And these chromophores, as soon as oxygen attaches, it can actually take away the color. So, um, and so we actually see the absence of any color, which is what we call clear. Okay, so let me enlarge this so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I simply have water with food coloring. That's why I'm not wearing goggles right now. Um, and so this is literally just, uh, you know, a couple drops of food coloring or one drop of food coloring and some just regular tap water. And then over here, what I have is on this hot plate, which I've already turned off, so it's not, I can touch it. It's like um, not super hot, but um, this is gonna be some warm uh, of the food coloring solution. So again, it's just food coloring and water. And this one is going to be what we're gonna be called cold. We're gonna call cold. I had an ice cube in here, just kind of swirled it around. I've got the same amount in both of them, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add, um, I put some of this uh, bleach right here, right into this container. And so all I'm gonna do is add the same amount of bleach into both of these, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the cold one here. And um, I'm just gonna add about like 10 milliliters of this bleach right into here. Oh, I'm seeing something happen. Okay, we can see it like turn this light blue color. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, add just about 10 milliliters right into the hot one. Oh, and it's doing the same thing. Okay, but I can only change, in order for this to be a good experiment, I only want to change one thing at a time. This is the hot one, and this one is cold. So what I want you to notice here, let's see if I can hold them the same way. What I want you to notice is the hot one already should be looking a little bit lighter than the cold one, okay? So let's just see what happens here. I'm gonna give both of them just a little bit of a stir, and let's take a look and see um, what happens. Let's just give these a little bit of a stir here just to make sure that I have, um, that that bleach has kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of spread out on the inside there. Okay, and so what I'm seeing here is this one is definitely lighter than this one. This one still has that bluish color. This one is definitely getting to be a lighter color. Okay, and let's give it one more stir here and see what happens. Stir and stir. Okay, and you can see this is the color that it originally started at, as, at this green color. And so these chemicals are at work. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is practically clear now. This is in the hot water. We know that this reaction definitely happened a lot faster. Why? Why is it happening faster? I want you to think about the molecules inside. Those molecules should be moving faster. They're hitting into each other. They're bumping around. And so what happens is I was talking about that molecule inside that gets oxidized, okay, which just means you're adding oxygen to it. And so because they're moving faster, they're actually able to add those oxygens much more quickly. And there we go. This one is pretty much clear. This one is still, it's lighter than it was before, but we still have quite a bit of that blue color that's inside of there. All right, happy day.